Hello everyone, my name is Connor and this is One Minute English. I have been an English teacher for more than 10 years and this is the advice that I can give you to improve your English, okay? We're going to look at these six different aspects of learning English um, which are grammar, vocabulary, listening, speaking, reading and writing. So let's look at these six things now. So the first thing you need to practice is your knowledge, okay? You need to increase your knowledge so that you know what to say and when to say it, okay? So let's look at grammar. Grammar is important to know the word order in English and to make yourself clear so you can speak fluently and clearly and confidently, okay? So this webpage is called My English Pages. They have a brilliant grammar section here so basically you can just go through all of these different grammar sections and you know practice basically for vocabulary you need to practice learning more words okay so the best way to do this is to read a lot yeah try to read as many books and news articles and read on facebook and all of these different ways to try and find new vocabulary. Practicing any of the skills will help you encounter new words, okay? So listening will help you. Try to listen to the radio, try to listen to podcasts, all of these things will increase your vocabulary. And always write down the, the new words and at the end of the night, uh, before you go to bed, um, reread the new words and try to memorize the new words. Okay, let's look at the four skills of English now and see how we can improve uh, in each of these skills. So the first skill we need to practice is speaking. Okay, you want to become more confident and more fluent in English. So that means you need to practice more, okay? Speaking is a skill, okay? You need to practice, like learning the guitar. You need to practice, okay? You need to actually play the guitar. So to speak English better, you need to practice speaking okay this is meetup.com and um, this is basically different events that you can find so find something that you are interested in and uh, maybe learning English or something there there are often groups right and they meet up in city centers and you can practice your English okay it depends on where you are if there are no meetups near you then I recommend Cambly okay you can call a native speaker whenever you want okay on your phone or on your laptop the benefit of this is that you can call them whenever you want okay you can speak without fear okay so you can type the words if you don't know the, the words you can work on your own schedule okay you can basically book a class when you want the class okay the next skill that you need to uh, learn is listening so you need to practice your listening there are two types of listening you need to listen for the general meaning and you also need to listen for details okay so at the beginning you just need to understand the context okay and um, so this is great for understanding the context you get the title cryptocurrencies for example uh, this is bbc six minute english it's for intermediates and above and, but every level you can practice this, okay? And you can listen here, uh, download the audio and download the PDF to understand what they're saying. I also recommend that you watch a TV show like Friends, okay? There's some episodes on YouTube here um, and any native content, okay? Just try to listen as much as you can. If you are intermediate level and above, then this will help you. Okay, after that, you need to listen for detail. So you can try to practice with FCE exams, FCE listening, here we go. Um, so you can practice some of the exams here on YouTube. This is the one I've used before, a uh, listening test. Okay, and you can get practice listening for details. Okay, to practice reading, you just need to read, right? Um, read online, read, send people messages on WhatsApp and Facebook, and try to read these newspaper articles, and then 
you will one time understand every word. So keep find, keep reading these um, articles and learning new vocabulary the whole time. Practice, try to understand everything, right? Again, it's the same thing. You just need to understand uh, the general meaning at the beginning, and then you need to understand every single word, okay? Every single word, maybe that's not possible, but nearly every, 95% of the words, and that will be excellent. Okay, and the last skill that you need to practice is writing. Okay, M not many students like writing, but you try to get into the, the habit of writing. Write a journal, maybe. Uh, you can use Penzu to do that online. Just write your thoughts and um, just to get into practicing writing. Okay, you can also use this notebook entry um, and people will correct it. This is on italki. Okay, people write about whatever they want and people come and correct. See, see, three people have corrected this, this text that somebody is writing, okay? And if nobody is correcting, then you can always book a class with a teacher and I talk you and ask them to correct. In that way, you can, pra you can learn, you know, new tips to learn English. And um, you can also practice your speaking and listening is very important. So that is my advice and to improve your English, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and please subscribe. Uh, if you found this helpful, I will keep making videos for you um, and just let me know how you get on. Yeah, I would like to know your progress and it's also very important to think about your weaknesses, okay? Think about your language. Oh, maybe I'm not very good at speaking English. It's difficult for me to speak. You need to open your mouth and practice, okay? If you're just reading and listening, then that's not practicing speaking, is it? So you need to actually open your mouth and speak and make the sounds of English because they are probably different. And that will make you more confident. The more you practice, the more confident and fluent you will become. Okay, my name is Connor again, and this is One Minute English. Talk to you soon.